Okay, so the next definition is information technology equipment, ITE or IT equipment. And that would be equipment up to a thousand volts, usually found in offices and similar locations for processing data, voice, video, and similar signals that are not communication uh, equipment and do not process communications circuits. Okay, so IT equipment, computer stuff. Now, why would I need to know the definition of information technology equipment, IT equipment? Well, the reason is I might have to read Article 645 and figure out what an IT room is. So information technology equipment room is also in Article 100. And that would be, of course, a room that contains information technology equipment. Okay, so put your IT stuff in a room and it then becomes an information technology room. This is one of the more obscure topics in the NEC. Article 645 covers IT rooms. Uh, however, historically, it's pretty much, for the most part, it's been kind of an optional code article. What Article 645 really does is it allows you to have different wiring methods underneath the raised floor. So when you look at this photograph here, notice the floor and notice that it's removable tiles. And I also want you to notice that it has this grill here in the floor. And that's because we're using that area beneath the floor for air handling. And the reason we're used doing that is because an information technology equipment room traditionally is very hot because all of the uh, all of the equipment in there generates heat and of course heat is the absolute worst enemy for equipment so we want to keep it as cool as possible so we're going to run our air through that raised floor we're also going to be running cables through that raised floor now 40 years ago when we first when we first started kind of doing any sort of computer networking as we would recognize it today um, we didn't have very good cabling systems. And then all of a sudden we added requirements for plenum ratings if we're using cables inside of an area that's used for air handling. So knowing what we know from 300.22, the cables in an area that, uh, that is used for environmental air, they have to be plenum rated. But 40 years ago, you couldn't get a plenum rated cable that could actually handle the needs of an IT room. Uh, they were, I don't want to say substandard, that wouldn't be fair, but, but you couldn't get good plenum rated cables. And I say good, you know, probably cap three or whatever it was, you know, back then. Um, so we had to figure out a way to accommodate IT rooms. And what they ended up doing is they made Article 645. And the crux of 645 is that back in the day, we really couldn't use plenum rated cables in some of these IT equipment rooms. So how are we going to deal with that? Well, we need plenum rated cables in air handling spaces in case there's a fire in the air handling space because the smoke from the non plenum rated cables is very toxic and we don't want it traveling through the building's air handling system and killing people. So if you're going to put a cable in an air handling system, it has to be plenum rated. But we couldn't use that in an IT room, so what's a person to do? Well, they figured out that if you have an IT room and it's dedicated to just equipment and you don't have people in there on a regular basis and the HVAC system for the IT room is dedicated just for the IT room, its own air handling system. Well, if I had non-plenum rated cables under that floor, and there was a fire, and it was transmitting all of this nasty uh, toxic gas throughout the, throughout the room, that's probably not a huge deal because nobody is in that room. But what about the first responders when they get there? Well, we need to have a way to shut off the air handling system inside the room and all the equipment. So you had to have a way to shut off the discount that shut off everything in that room. And in earlier versions of the code, it had to be located near the door the disconnect, and it had to be a push button, and pushing it in had to shut off everything in the room. Well, <laughs> that's a lot of baggage. I mean, what if a person walks into that room and just accidentally bumps that switch, 
and all of a sudden you lose all of the computers for, <laughs> for a high-rise building, you know, for a data center or a, a, a credit card place or something. Maybe that'd be nice, you know. Uh, so a lot of people didn't want to comply with Article 645 because it was tough. Well, you didn't have to comply with Article 645. You don't have to put that disconnect in as long as you use plenum rated cables. But if you want to use non plenum rated cables, then you had to follow Article 645. That was the trade off. Of course, today we can get plenum rated cables that can handle all the data that we can handle with a non plenum rated cable, so it's not an issue. And in the 2020 code, they added what, in my opinion, is kind of a deal breaker. They also said, look, if you want to use non plenum rated cables under the floor, you have to have a fire suppression system under that floor as well as the disconnecting means and everything that goes along with it. So I don't think that too many people are going to choose to comply with Article 645 as it relates to non plenum rated cables because there's just too much work that goes along with it. Remember 645 is optional. It's really not required. You only use it if you want to use non plenum rated cables. All right, so there you go. There is IT equipment, IT rooms, and a brief overview of Article 645. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.